Hello and welcome to a special edition of Designing Spaces, Kids Spaces. The show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings, and how they relate to your kids. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Today we're in a space normally inhabited by kids, and it's to get you in the mood for today's show. Definitely, and we have a wonderful lineup. We're going to talk about health issues and kid-friendly vacations, and for the big kids, too. Big kids, just like you and me. <laughs> True, but teenagers as well. Okay, oh, and speaking of teenagers, we have a driving segment coming mm -hmm. up that teenagers and parents should stick around for. Yeah, and it's coming up right now on Designing Spaces, Kids Spaces. Hey, Deb, did you know that light can affect indoor air quality? Really? Yes. In fact, light, depending yeah. on the kind of light that it is, can affect your health and your mental disposition. Okay, but this is kid spaces, so how does it relate to kids? I'm glad you asked. Kids are actually more sensitive to the quality of light. Let's check in with Kim Yonanaka in San Rafael, California, with the story. Think your house is really clean? You vacuum, you dust, you wipe everything down with disinfectant. But is it enough? Well, believe it or not, the very air your family breathes can be unhealthy. To find out more, Kid Spaces has come to San Rafael, California to talk with Allison Lee from Wellness Like Kids. Hi, Allison. Welcome to the show. Hi, Kim. Thanks for having me. At this point, Allison, people might be a little skeptical about indoor air pollution. So why don't you tell us about some of the dangerous particles that could be circulating throughout the house? When we think of air pollution, most of us think about outdoor air pollution, things such as car exhaust, smog, and smoke. But the EPA warns us about indoor air pollution as well, including volatile organic compounds, commonly called VOCs, which in the short term can cause respiratory problems, aggravate asthma, and cause headaches, and in the long term can cause kidney and liver problems, and even cause cancer. And children's developing bodies are particularly vulnerable to these effects. As parents, we do our best to keep our homes safe and clean for our children, but what many parents don't realize is that the cleanest of homes are often the most toxic because VOCs are found in common household products such as carpeting, household paints, and cleaning products. And VOC levels inside the home can be two to five times higher than levels outside the home. Wow, that's really eye-opening. Now, how and why did you get interested in this subject? As a mother of three young children, I suddenly became aware of the many dangers out there and I wanted to take a more proactive approach in protecting my children. And you were telling me earlier how you were concerned about light quality and how that can affect the quality of life inside the home. Right. Well, one of the things that I learned is that one of the healthiest kinds of light is called full spectrum light, which simulates the natural light of the sun and it provides cleaner, clearer light than ordinary light bulbs. And studies have shown that full spectrum light can reduce headaches, lessen eye strain, reduce the impact of seasonal affective disorder, improve moods, and even improve academic performance for children. And we can't get that in a standard light bulb? No, these benefits can only be found in full spectrum light bulbs. And what we've done is create a product that provides full spectrum light as well as helps solve the problem of indoor air pollution. So tell us a little bit more about how this bulb works. Well, Wellness Light Kids bulbs are specially coated with nano-titanium dioxide. And this special coating works with the light emitted from the bulb and the humidity in the air to speed the production of powerful natural oxidizing agents. These oxidizing agents destroy a variety of toxic VOCs and indoor air pollutants. Do these cost more than a standard light bulb? Yes, well, they're not ordinary bulbs, so initially they do cost more. But when you consider the air cleaning qualities and the health promoting benefits of the bulbs, as well as the fact that they're energy saving compact fluorescent light bulbs that last up to eight years, they're really a small investment in protecting your child's health. So can I use these in a regular lamp or lighting fixture? Yes, they fit in standard light fixtures and they work best in fixtures that allow air to circulate around the bulbs. Allison, can you show me how to make this house healthier by changing a few bulbs? I'd love to. Let's go. All right.
Well, even if we can't see how these wellness light bulbs are working to reduce indoor air pollution, anyone would notice the beautiful lighting they provide throughout the house. Now, where would somebody get more information about them? They can find detailed information on our website at wellnesslightkids.com. Allison, thanks so much for enlightening us today about making our